Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your favorite realtor's favorite realtor, Brandon Smith, and I am a licensed realtor here in Northern Virginia. Said realtor three times in less than two sentences. Ah! But anyways, this video, I'm going to explain how I got into real estate. Uh, so like any other millennial, graduated high school, had no clue what I wanted to do. So I uh, went to college. Uh, I went to college at Old Dominion University. Uh, so while I was in college, my brother actually went to the same college as me. He graduated. And while I was still in school, he got into real estate. So, uh, while he was kind of doing his thing, I was looking from afar and, uh, also around like my sophomore junior year of college. That's when I, uh, saw wholesaling. I started to see videos on wholesaling real estate. So I kind of, you know, started to lean towards the industry. I was like, okay, this might be something I, uh, want to do later in life. Uh, you know, it's a good opportunity to make big checks and if it's anything that we fall in love with in real estate it's those big checks baby but uh so i i, I would uh start looking at videos like that and uh, start talking to my brother more about just kind of his day-to-day uh, and come to my junior year, I think like my second semester, my junior year of college, uh, me and one of my former roommates, shout out Sharon, uh, started taking a real estate class. Now, honestly, to be completely transparent, probably huge waste of time, but you know, it was good to see, uh, or start to hear some of like the vocabulary words associated with real estate and, uh, learn some of the laws associated with real estate. But honestly, once you get into the industry, you'll start to learn that a lot of this stuff you kind of have to go through to really learn. Like you can look at all the vocab words and all the laws and all that stuff you want, but until you experience it, it, it really, it just doesn't uh, feel the same. But anyways, so I uh, took, took that class and was like, okay, yeah, no, I think I could do this uh, when I graduate college. So uh, fast forward, graduated college, uh, was like, hey, I, I want to get into real estate. But uh, by this time, just in talking with my brother more, I knew I had to kind of have some capital saved up. So uh, I ended up still working kind of like the nine to five deal for another two years. Saved the whole time I was there, so uh, saved about six months worth of expenses. When I was coming to the end of uh, my working, knowing I would want to transition to real estate, I started taking my online pre-licensing courses. Uh, took me about two weeks to do that. Uh, it didn't take me too much time at all. So once I finished my pre-licensing course, I did what any other genius would do and quit my job. Uh, ah, mistake. Uh, and once I quit, I literally was, went to go take the licensing test, maybe like the next week thinking I would pass on my first try ended up. I didn't actually took me three times to pass cause, uh, harder than I thought. Uh, and once I did finally end up passing, I ended up going to the same brokerage my brother worked at. Uh, it was a family friend, so it was a no-brainer for me. My dad was getting into the industry at the time. Same family friend is friends with him. So it's just like, oh, yeah, this is a home run. We're going to go there, and we're going to make bazillions. Turns out, didn't make uh, anything. And uh, it kind of took me like six months to realize we weren't making anything either. Uh, you know, sometimes it'll just kind of be along for the ride. And uh, once I got to like that six month point, I was like, oh, I've only been spending money. So uh, ended up having to go back to working nine to fives for like another six months. Uh, while I was doing this nine to five thing, I was still in real estate, you know, learning, networking, all that fun stuff. Uh, but it was definitely like an eye opener, like, man, maybe I shouldn't have left my job the first time and just kind of got in part time or at least kind of learned the industry from a personal level before quitting. So yeah, that was a mistake on my behalf. But anyways, uh, in retrospect, in hindsight, hindsight's 2020, but, right, but uh, yeah, started working again, still at this brokerage, uh, and, and shout out to this brokerage too. I mean, I met great people. While I was there. One of my relationships led to one of my first deals. So I wouldn't, I really wouldn't trade that experience for the world. I just was ignorant and entitled thinking I would just walk in and just start making money. And that's just not the case wherever you go. So don't think real estate's one of those jobs where you're just going to clock in and start making cash 
Because you're not. But anyways, uh, so I'm working, still doing the real estate thing. I'm doing both at this point. And then I stumble upon another agent. Her name is Peggy Yee. And she's looking for someone to do contract work for her. Uh, someone to do showings, home inspections, drop off log box, stuff like that. You know, uh, stuff to just support her business. So, of course, at this time, I'm like, hey, I mean, I need all the experience I can get. So I uh, applied, ended up getting it, started doing that contract work for her. I, I was doing this for maybe, let's say another six months uh, before she asked if I want to come on full time. So by the time she asked me that, I was just like, no, nah! because I don't know if anybody knows what it's like to work two or three jobs, but the worst feeling is going from one job just to go to another job. I'm talking that that's I, I, I it's just not fun. It's just not a fun life to live. But anyway, so I go start working for her full time. Uh, started off as like a transaction coordinator, operations management, real behind the scenes, would still do the showing us uh, stuff and all that contract work, work too. But it gave me a chance to really start gaining experience, starting to see like the ins and outs of transactions and just deals from start to finish. So it, it was an amazing opportunity. I'm still with Peggy to this day. I still work on her team. I'm more of a bu buyer's agent, can't talk. I'm more of a buyer's agent now because I, I just do everything uh, start to finish, but I'll still support the team. And, you know, I'm a team player, so I'll still be a part of her deals as well where I see or where she sees fit. That's probably like the better way to say it. But uh, yeah, I want to say that's basically my real estate story. Uh, now I've been in the industry for about three years now. Uh, you know, I love it. I love real estate. So much fun. You know, no two transactions are exactly alike. Uh, it gives me, I don't have to like sit behind the desk all day. I get to work from home. You know, it, it, it provides me a lot of freedom and that's, that's my big thing. You know, I, I just hated the thought of ever having to ask to go to the bathroom. That's like my biggest pet peeve. I don't want to have to ask somebody to pee. That's, that's just crazy. It, it takes me back to school and I just never liked that, you know? So yeah, that's my story. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, if you guys have any questions or like need me to fill in a blank between two spots, definitely let me know because yeah, I just kind of went through this. And as always, if you know anyone looking to buy, sell, invest, or rent real estate in Northern Virginia, look no further because I'm your guy. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. Hasta la vista.